Well, I'm here for my epilepsy. Eventually, I would like to be seizure-free or on less medication, and it's just to start a new journey in my life and maybe one day have a family. So Stephanie is extremely sweet, sweet, sweet patient. She started having seizures when she was eight years old. And what's really unique about Stephanie is that her seizures were happening every day. And you know what really broke my heart when I heard the story of Stephanie is that all her dream is when she graduates and have her life is that she wants to have family, she wants to have kids. And with the medication that she was on, I was extremely concerned about her health and the health of her family or health of her kids. In the past, in order to define where the seizure is coming from we had only one option and this option was to remove the skin open the bone and expose the brain and then once we expose the brain we were putting a lot of plastic wires and leads throughout the brain in order to define where the seizure is coming from one of the major limitation of the old fashion of doing the surgery is we had to stick with the surface of the brain we were not able to get any information from deep inside Inside the brain and also we had very limited exposure so we were not able to cover a large area of the brain what's unique about the rosa which i think is what's helping us to understand more and provide more treatment option for our patients is a now we can provide a larger sampling of the brain tissue so we will be able to cover multiple areas and put multiple leads in different location in order to define exactly where the seizure is coming from and what the best part of this is it comes in a very non-invasive way so all what there is no exposure of the brain there is no removal of the bone flap what we do is Dr. Damasi does small bear holes and we place those electrodes after a lot of uh, calculations that we we do before the procedure um, we know exactly where the target will be where the entry point will be in a very non-invasive or minimally invasive way so the advancement here is essentially doing the same surgery that we have uh, in the past in, in a much more minimally invasive fashion and that allows rather than a large uh, craniotomy which could be blood loss and complication exposing the entire brain uh, to, uh, during surgery to now allowing us to perform a more accurate and efficient process uh, frankly with a, a much more minimally invasive fashion with small incisions tiny tiny little holes we're talking about a couple of millimeters in the skull that allow us to place these um, same electrodes deep in the brain to to help our patients during the procedure. So we were able to uh, do imaging and, and testing and, and we thought that she'd be a, an, an excellent candidate for this type of surgery and, and we performed the surgery and she did excellent during the surgery, during the monitoring process after the surgery. We were able to localize uh, the area in her brain that was causing uh, this abnormal uh, uh, discharge to cause the seizures and uh, I was able to go in and, and remove that portion of her brain and she's been doing outstanding since and I, and I think that uh, she's going to continue to do well uh, into the future and I'm, I'm, I'm blessed and we're all blessed here to have, have changed someone's life uh, in, such a, in such a radical fashion. So two weeks later um, from the surgery I'm seizure free I'm on less medication which is amazing you know I feel like I feel healthier. I'm very excited about it. Like I feel like almost it's like a a start over button in a sense. I mean, like I've, I've want to be a health, healthier lifestyle, and then you know, no seizures, no medication, and just uh, take life, just to do it to the max and everything. <laughs>